Hey everyone, today I'm going to run you through a full body joint uh, mobility warm up session. So we'll go through each of the exercises starting at the neck, working our way down the body. If with one of the exercises you find pain at a certain range, so if for example the shoulder, you're getting pain at that point, just don't push into that, just stop a bit earlier so you might, so we'll We'll come back to it, but we're doing shoulder circles like that. If you're getting pain at the top, just don't go quite as high. Even if you're kind of right down here to start with, it's still getting some movement through the joints, getting the synovial fluid going, uh, getting the muscles working a bit. So I'll talk you through each one. We'll do them a few times per exercise. If you want, you can come back, uh, do them more for a particular joint, run through the video twice or even just take some of the exercise and implement it into your daily routine. But these exercises are actually ones that I do in my daily routine every morning. I'll do these and then a few other mobility exercises after. And I'll do that for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to start with the neck. So with this, we're actually going to tense the muscles a bit to give a bit of support. So tense your neck muscles. What you're going to do is bring your chin down to your chest. Slowly bring your chin towards one shoulder, lean it to the side, coming back, still tensing the neck right around the back to the other side, chin to shoulder, coming down and then bringing your chin back to the middle. You're going to go the other direction, so chin to right shoulder, ear to shoulder, coming back. If you're getting pain going back, just come straight over the top, ear to shoulder, Chin to shoulder, rolling your chin down to your chest. And do that one more time each way. So chin, tensing the neck muscles slightly, chin to chest, bringing your chin around to your shoulder, ear to shoulder, coming back if you're able to without pain, ear to the right shoulder, chin to the shoulder and rolling back down to the chest and the other direction, chin to the right shoulder, Ear to the right shoulder, coming back and around, ear to the left shoulder, chin to the left shoulder, coming down into the chest. So that's our neck, nice and warm now, joints are moving, joints are healthy. Uh, you tense the muscles slightly, it just gives you that extra support so you're not just loading through the joints. Now we'll come to the shoulders, so what I want you to do, just keep your arms by your side like they're in your pocket, roll. Keep your back still, rolling your shoulders forward, up to the ears, back and down. And then the other direction, come back, up and over, forward and down. Still trying to touch your thighs the whole time, coming back, up and over. And the other way, it's just really good to warm up through the shoulder blades, come forward, up and down. Back and down, one more time the other way, back, up, forward and down. Now we're going to work into the shoulder joint. So this one can get a bit tricky. I like to make a bit of a fist and just gently squeeze the fist to just get some of the muscles working. You're trying to keep your trunk completely still as you do this, trying not to sway side to side. So start with your gentle fist, palms facing up. Bring it across your body in front of your face and up beside your ear and back as far as you can. Once you can't go any further back, twist your arm so your thumb's pointing forward and then coming around behind you, continuing to twist, bringing your palm to face behind you and then palm facing out, hand by your side. We're going to reverse that. So bringing it back, slowly rolling it so your thumb comes up, palm facing out, by your ear, twisting so your palm's facing up, and then coming back across the body. So now I did that with minimal movement through the trunk as opposed to moving lots through the trunk. So I'll go through that one more time on the left. So Gentle fist, palm face forward, come across your body, up to the ear, 
gently rotate, arm facing out, coming back behind you, really fighting to get it as far behind you as you can before bringing it down to your pocket, and back the other way, coming up as far as you can, gently rolling it up to your ear, just gently twisting the hand, arm face up, coming across your body, back beside you. So with that one, once again, if you're getting pain right at the top, just don't go as far. So I'll do an example on this side, saying I was getting pain at the top. If it feels fine, just do it as before. The palm facing forward, gentle twist, coming up. So if I start to get pain at that point, I wouldn't go that far, I'd stop there. Gently rotating in that position, coming around. If I'm getting pain there, stop before that, and then coming beside your hip. back, just keeping it within twisting, keeping it within that pain-free range of motion. It's still healthy for the joints moving within the pain-free range. So we'll go through that right one more time, I'll do it normal this time. Gentle fist, palms face forward, coming across your body and up to beside your ear, gently rotating through the arm, now my palms facing outwards, my thumbs facing forwards. Coming behind you as far as you can. As continue to twist. So your thumbs facing behind you now, bringing your hand by your pocket. And we're going to reverse that, coming back, starting to twist as you come back over, up to the ear, and then in front or come across your body and down. Now working through the elbows. I like to support the upper arm, you can do that or you can just hang it by your side. I'm trying to move through here minimally, we're just moving the forearm. So what you want to do is gentle fist, gentle clenching, bring your palm, palm is facing forward, bring your hand to the shoulder. In this position, gently rotate your hand, so now it's facing away from you, and then come back down. Now stay there. Palm facing down, bringing it up, rolling it the opposite direction, palm facing towards you, and down. See, I've got minimal movement through the elbow, it's not swaying side to side, that's why I like to just support it. Bending, rolling, and down, bringing it up, rotating, and down. And then same on the other side. Palm facing up, gentle fist, gently squeezing, bending through the elbow, twisting, now my palm's facing away from me, coming down, come back up, still palm facing away, rotating palm facing towards, and down. Do that once more by yourself. As you do this, you're only rotating your wrist as much as you can. So don't try to move the elbow to get extra movement, even if it's just a small amount. So even if you're going to there, that's okay. Just work within your limitations. Give you a few more seconds to finish. All right, now we're gonna work on the wrist. So this part of the arm doesn't move. So I want you to hold it with your other arm. It's only the hand that's moving. So. We're actually going to make a, a palm like that, fingers together, gently squeezing the hand, and we're going to draw a circle as big as we can with our fingertips without moving any other part of our arm. So go one direction and the other. One direction and the other. So you're creating, and go one more time. Creating as big a circle as you can within whatever stiffness limitations you have, not pushing through pain. If it's painful, you might do a much smaller circle, even like this, still beneficial. Same on the other side, support at the forearm, I'll do the side on this time, so I'm not twisting through the forearm. Your fingertips make a nice big circle, as big as you can. And the other way, so I've got a slightly sore wrist in this one, so I'm not going to do as big a circle on that 
outside. And that's fine. I'm working within my current limitations. One more time. Alright, shake out the arms. That's most of the upper body done. We want to get a bit of movement through the spine. So for this, we want to try to keep our pelvis and our legs completely still. Try to avoid getting those movements through the hips. We're trying to keep that still and move just through the upper body. Try to keep your chin in the same position, same distance from the chest throughout. You can, if you like, put something gentle there and just gently squeeze your chin down to avoid extra movements through the neck. So crossing your arms. I want you to tense your abs a bit as you do this. Keeping your pelvis where it is, just bend forward as much as you can. Slowly twist to one side and making a big circle coming back, twisting to the other side and then coming to the middle. So twist to the right this time, big circle, back and around, twisting back to the middle. Once again, don't push into pain, just the range that you can. So from side on, you can see I won't move my, I'll try not to move my pelvis, there might be a bit of movement. Crossing the arms, gentle squeeze of the abs, bending forward. You can see I don't actually get that much movement because if I go further, then I start to get that movement in the hips, which we don't want. So it's a quite a small movement. Twist to the left, come back and around, twist to the right, and back to the middle. One more time to the right, twist to the right, back and around the left and to the middle. If that's sore in the arch and back phase, it might look more like this. Coming forward, around, then just straight across and back to the middle. If it feels fine, you can create work on building nice big circles within what you're able to. All right, we're gonna to work to the legs now. So the hip, this is one of the trickier parts. If you hold on to something for support, if you have any hip pain or hip arthritis, just be more mindful with this one. It might be a much smaller circle just within your capabilities. So holding on for balance, we'll use this. We'll start with our right leg. So we're actually going to bring our knee across our body and try to lift our foot up towards us like that. Now, Bring the knee high and wide and around. See, I'm, I'm trying not to move the rest of my body. And then you're starting to bring the foot up towards the roof behind you. Back behind you, pushing back, and then bring your knee to join the other knee. And I'll reverse that, I've still got my knee bent. Coming back, bringing the knee high as it comes around in front of you, then across your body as you lift your, the instep of your foot up and back down. So let's do that side on. So right leg again, coming up and across your body, lifting the insole up, bringing it around as you rotate through the hip, trying to bring the out step up towards the roof, coming behind you, pushing back, minimising any movement through the rest of your body, bring it to join the other knee, and we'll go back the other way. Coming back, just a small movement, getting the rest of the body still, even squeezing your abs a bit as you do this. Coming wide and high as you come around, keeping your balance. Back around, across the body, and down. Now let's do that on the left. So bring the left knee up across your body, Bring the instep up towards the roof, wide and high around and behind you and down. So I had a bit of movement in the body there. This time I'm going to tense some of my abs and the rest of my body to try to minimise that. Leg back and around, across your body and down. One more time. So gently squeezing your body, squeezing the hip muscles, squeezing your leg muscles, just gently. It'll just give you that extra bit of support. Coming up and across the body, up high as it goes around behind you, and then joining the other knee, pushing it back, 
whilst tucking the tailbone under, around and high, across the body and down. That one's quite tiring, I actually feel my muscles working quite hard supporting me as on the other leg as I do that movement. Alright, now we'll work through the knees. So this one's quite simple, you're trying not to move your thigh, what we're going to do, we're going to bend our heel as high up towards our glutes as we can and back down. But what we're going to do, we're going to try to keep the thigh still but just point the feet in and out like that as we do it. So with the left foot we're going to point the feet out and bring our heel towards our glutes then move to point the foot in, bring our foot down. Keep the foot pointing in, heel to the glutes, Pointing out and down. So, and again on the right, pointing in, bending the leg, pointing out and down. Trying to keep your knee in the same position. Bending the leg as you point out, adjust to point in and down. We'll do that on the other side, the right leg. Point the foot in, bend the knee, heel the glutes. Move it to point out, straighten the leg. Stay pointing out, bend the knee, point in, straighten the leg. So if you look at the position of my knee as I do this time, right leg again, point in, the knee's trying to stay in the same spot as I bend, and you notice as I twist out, the knee's still there. And straighten, keep the foot twisted out as you bend, twist in, and straighten. Shake out the legs a bit. Now, for this last one, I'm just going to take the shoes off. If you've done the foot video, you would have come across these before. But we're trying to get, um, we'll do our ankles, but then we'll get all our feet moving as well. So hold on for support, foot in front of you, and with keeping the rest of your legs still, gently tense your muscles and draw a really big circle with your big toe. As big a circle as you can without moving the rest of your legs. So we'll go one way and back the other way. One way and the other. One more time. You might hear a few cracks in your ankle. I can hear mine going now. If it's not painful, that's fine. And the other foot, nice big circle as I keep the rest of my leg still. Really good for ankle health. One more time each way. Right. And now we're going to be looking at the feet. So I'm going to come a bit closer for this one. So this is similar to the other day. We'll start with our left foot. What I want you to do is keep this part and this part of the foot on the ground. And you're just going to try and lift just the big toe up like that. If that's really hard, a good way to start is support the other toes as you lift up. Practice that and as you're able to, you can gradually remove your hand. So I work through 10 of these. And then we'll do the same, keeping the big toe down, moving the other toes up. So gently hold your big toe down, lifting the other toes. Trying to keep this part of your foot on the ground as you do it. The goal is eventually to be able to do it without your hands. This is really good for the health of the feet and all the little muscles working in your feet, which we often neglect. I've got four more up and down. Now hold your toes up and try to gently tap the big toe down, keeping this part of the foot on the ground. You can hold your toes again and as you're able to, gradually move your hand away. Four more. Whoop. Does take a bit of coordination. The more you practice this, the better. And then tap all the other toes, keeping the big toe up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do the same on the right foot. 
So we'll come from the side to show you a bit more. So heels stays touching the ground, the forefoot stays touching the ground as I just lift the big toe up. Holding the other toes if you need to start. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keeping the big toe down, lifting the other toes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the toes up, gently tapping just the big toe down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep the big toe up as you touch all the little toes down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good work, and we're done. So, hopefully your body should feel nice and warm now, nice and loose. Uh, I do those every morning. I run through them myself a bit quicker than we have just now, because I'm not explaining it, I just kind of go joint to joint. It, um, and then after that, I do a few other mobility, flexibility, yoga poses, things like that, just to really prepare my body for the day. And I feel great when I do it. So take some of those exercises if you like. You can work specifically on them. You can work through all the exercises. Um, but if you found some particularly helpful, even just taking those and putting them in your daily routine. Hope you enjoyed today, guys. A bit harder, taking a bit more coordination than usual, but really good to challenge the body and your body will adapt and benefit from things like this. All right, I'll see you later.